Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. Up until now, we have spent a great deal of time showing you how to add fractions together. Uh, you have to have a common denominator, and then if you, if you don't have that common denominator, then you need to transform those fractions so that they have a common denominator, then you can add them. We've also talked about mixed numbers and improper fractions and adding those along the way. Now we're going to start to talk about subtracting fractions. Now the good news is that subtracting fractions is very, very simple once you understand how to add fractions, which we've already done. So let's see how that works by taking a real example. What if we have the fraction 6 eighths and we would like to subtract from that fraction the fraction 1 eighth? Well, uh, with subtracting fractions, it's the same as adding fractions. You have to have the same denominator in order to subtract them. So it's easy to remember. And so what we're going to do then, since we have a common denominator already, you just carry it along for the ride, and then on the top you just subtract the numerator, 6 minus 1. So what you get here is 5 eighths. And then you look at this and you say, can I simplify this anymore? And this, you're not able to simplify it anymore because I cannot divide top or bottom by anything to simplify it any further. So that is the final answer. Now, if we were going to spend a few minutes here in the beginning just drawing a quick picture, let's see what this fraction subtraction looks like in terms of a picture. If I had uh, a pizza or a pie and I were to cut it into eight pieces because that's what my denominator says I'm doing, then I cut it into fourths like that and then I do a big X through the center, and now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now for that fraction, for that uh, particular 6 eighths right there, uh, this is a piece. Here's 1, here's 2, here's 3, here's 4, here's 5, and here's 6. So there's 6 eighths of a pizza, or 6 eighths of a, of a pie. Now, from that, I'm trying to subtract this guy, which is 1 eighth. Again, my pizza uh, is cut into 8 slices, so I'm going to do a big plus like this, and then a big X that cuts me into 8 slices. Now, inside of that, I would like to uh, represent 1 eighth, right? And because it's 1 eighth, I'm just going to shade one of these guys, so this is 1 eighth. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this much pizza, 6 out of 8 pieces, and I'm subtracting from it 1 out of 8 pieces. So now that you can see everything is in terms of 8 slices of the pizza, everything matches as far as how many uh, slices the pizza's cut into, in other words, 8 here, then all I'm going to take is, if I had a box of pizza on the table cut like this and I only had 6 of those pieces, then if I were to subtract 1 of those pieces, I would just take 1 away. So what would I be left with? When I do this subtraction, again, it's always going to be in terms of your common denominator, in this case 8, so it's still in terms of a pizza that's cut into 8 slices, but once I have 6 of those slices, 6 eighths, and I subtract from it 1 eighth, I'm taking a slice away, and what I am left with is here's one piece number 1, piece number 2, piece number 3, piece number 4, and then piece number 5. So this is 5 eighths right here. That is visually, graphically what's going on. That's why you really need a common denominator in order to subtract fractions properly because whenever you subtract two things, they have to represent uh, a representation of the same sort of thing. In this case, a pizza that's cut into eight pieces. We're subtracting a larger amount of slices minus a smaller amount of slices. And we get the five-eighths over here. All right, I, didn't, I just wanted to draw a nice little graphic for the first problem. We won't be doing that for the future problems, but sometimes it's good to take a step back and make sure you understand how 